Our top story tonight at 11. President Joe Biden has dropped out of the race for the White House. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Jeffries in for Riley Phillips. The president making the announcement via a letter on social media saying it was his intention to seek reelection, but in the best interest of the party, he's decided to stand down and focus on fulfilling his duties as president for the rest of his term. Biden also endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee. Now we do have full team coverage of this announcement tonight. In minutes, we will have a live report from Washington, D.C. with how Democratic lawmakers are reacting. Plus, we'll have our political analyst, A.G. Gankarski, with how a Vice President Harris versus former President Donald Trump race could look. And a look back at the times the Vice President has visited Jacksonville. But first, let's check in with Zach Wilcox. He joins us live from the Duval Democrats headquarters on Jacksonville Southside. Now, Zach, the headquarters opened just three weeks ago. Yeah, Katie, it didn't last long as the Biden-Harris headquarters. You can see they flipped the sign around in here. They don't have any of the signs out front anymore, but I was talking with the head of the Duval Dems, the chair, who mentioned that it'll just be a matter of time before they have it rebranded. And for them, really, the only thing that changes is the name, the top of the ballot. It was definitely a shock, I'll say that, but I want to commend uh, President Biden's service to our nation. Duval Dems Chair Daniel Henry is excited to be part of the Democratic National Convention for a second time in his political career this year, but unusual circumstances have come into play both times. The first time in 2020, it was held virtually due to the pandemic. This time, it'll be in person in Chicago but it'll follow the sitting president dropping out of the campaign in favor of his VP. She is the woman of the moment. Uh, she is the best suited to be able to carry forward uh, our nomination. Henry looks forward to casting a history-making vote ahead of the convention to put Kamala Harris in position to possibly become the first woman and first woman of color president. Win the presidency for the first time for a lot of the little girls out there that um, have that same aspiration for themselves too. Duval GOP Chair Dean Black, who just casted his vote for Donald Trump at the RNC last week, told me he views Biden dropping out as a positive development for the Republican Party. They've probably done the humanitarian thing. They've replaced a non-candidate with a horrible candidate. The Democrat Party is imploding. They're a circular firing squad. But the Republican Party, we've never been more united. Henry says one thing has been a priority for Duval Dems over the past year, and it will continue to be regardless of whose name is on the ballot. We've been canvassing over the course of the last year to make people aware of not only this election, but the importance of this election and the issues that are on the ballot. Now, Henry mentioned that they will be doing a rebranding here to make sure that it uh, is Harris first on the ticket here, but it'll probably be once she announces who her running mate is. In St. Nicholas, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. Meanwhile, reactions from our local leaders have been pouring in, much of it along party lines. Senator Rick Scott released a statement saying the Democrats, Democrats, quote, hypocrisy knows no bounds, and that President Biden's announcement changed nothing, though he welcomed the news. Governor Ron DeSantis focused on Vice President Kamala Harris in a message posted on X, saying that she was complicit in a, quote, cover-up when it came to President Joe Biden, and said that she was the, quote, border czar during the worst border crisis in American history, end quote. And Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan wrote in a post on social media that she is grateful for the work Biden has done and added that Vice President Kamala Harris has her full support as the Democratic nominee. Now, in his announcement letter, President Biden said he is endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee. But as of right now, the Vice President is not the official nominee. So tonight, we are taking a look back at the two times she has visited Jacksonville in just the last year alone. Exactly one year ago today, Harris spoke in Jacksonville following a decision by the Florida state officials to change what students are taught about African American history. In her speech, she claimed that Florida's new curriculum sought to replace history with lies. These extremist so-called leaders should model what we know to be the correct and right approach if we really are invested in the well-being of our children. Later in May of this year, Harris was back in Jacksonville, this time to speak on reproductive rights, right as the six-week abortion ban went into effect in Florida, calling the ban extremist. We trust women. We trust women to know what is in their own best interest. 
Well, she also spoke on the inclusion of abortion rights in the 2024 ballot, the same ballot which could have her name now leading the Democratic ticket in November. Now we continue our coverage of this historic day in the race for the White House. President Biden dropping out of the presidential race with less than six months until the election. ABC's Perry Rossum joins us live now from Washington, D.C. with the very latest. Perry. Hey, Katie, a stunning turn of events with President Biden dropping out. Some Democrats now rallying behind Vice President Kamala Harris. As for how this is going to work campaign wise, a source tells ABC News the Biden campaign now becomes the Harris campaign. The entire infrastructure stays the same. It just pivots to Harris. President Biden dropping out of the race for the White House, endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris. Harris releasing a statement saying her intention is to earn and win this nomination. Some Democratic lawmakers starting to rally behind Harris with their convention weeks away in Chicago. As a delegate, I'll be happy to go back um, to Chicago and support the vice president. My choice is Vice President Harris. Kamala Harris, as our Democratic presidential nominee, is going to bring an X factor. Harris does not automatically become the nominee. Democratic National Committee Chairman Jamie Harrison saying, in short order, the American people will hear from the Democratic Party on next steps and the path forward for the nomination process. Biden dropping out of the race in a statement writing, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. This decision was selfless and strong. He put the country first. Senator Chris Coons, a close ally and friend of Biden, tearful on CBS. Um, this was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. Even as Biden's candidacy began to unravel at the first presidential debate nearly one month ago. If we finally beat Medicare. He remained committed on the campaign trail. I am running and going to win again. The Republican Party already attacking Harris, releasing this video. If you ever wondered how Joe Biden could get the border so screwed up, remember, he had help. <laughs> and President Biden says he will address the nation later this week. Still not clear when that will be. He's been at his vacation home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, recovering from COVID. Katie, back to you. Thank you, Perry. Now you can find the latest coverage on President Biden dropping out of the race to be the next president on the First Coast News app, and we will continue to update you there as we learn more.